I'm going to show you a few common mistakes that beginners make when working with watercolour. The first mistake is that beginners often hold the brush upright like this and paint only with the tip of the brush. And it's much better if you just angle your brush to about a 45 degree angle and then you can use all of the bristles on the paper and you get a much more flowing fluid result on the paper. When you're holding the brush try to keep your hand relaxed and try to relax right down through your arm and remember that you can hold the brush like this you can also hold it like this and if you want to be super relaxed you can hold it right at the end and you will get a more relaxed mark. So that's the first mistake. The second mistake that I've seen beginners making is outlining their shapes. So what I've seen a lot of beginners doing is if they wanted to paint this lemon, then they would quite often start by drawing the shape of the lemon like this. And then they would start painting in quite often around the edges like this. And I think that's probably a throwback to primary school where you are taught to draw, you draw a shape and then you color it in. But this is painting, this is not drawing. So it's far better to, if you're going to draw this lemon, to get your pigment on your brush and then don't outline at all. Try to capture the shape using the paint in broad brush strokes like that. Now the reason why that is better than that is that when you're working with watercolour it's all about the fluidity of the paint and how it behaves on the paper and how it blends with other colours. So if you can get to your form more quickly with broader brush strokes you're going to end up with more beautiful blooms and blends happening on your page. So the second common mistake to avoid is don't create outlines. What also happens with the outlines is that people quite often draw the outline and then because they are nervous and unsure what to do next, the outline dries and then you've got this hard edge and the whole thing struggles to flow. So go for your broad shapes as fast as you can. The third common mistake that beginners make with watercolour is not having the right amount of water on their paints. So if you are working with watercolour pans, it's a common mistake that people let the pans get too dry. And the way to get around that is to have a spray bottle and keep wetting the paints. To start with, you have to do this quite often. And then once they're properly soaked through, you do it slightly less often, but you want to keep them all nice and moist throughout the painting process. If you're working with a palette that has wells like this, then it's also very common that you end up with too much water in the wells. And if you are working with tube paints like this, then what usually happens is either they're too dry and you need to spray them down, or they're too wet and they all start mushing into each other. It is a bit of a minefield, but I'll show you a really good way to get around the problem of the amount of water and that is to work the water and pigment into your brush on the palette. I'll show you what I mean. So once you've sprayed your palette with water or wetted your tube paints so that everything is moist but not too moist, then the thing to do is to take the pigment and use the space on your palette to work the pigment into the bristles of your brush. And Doing a warm up is a great way to get the right amount of paint and water in your brush. And you'll see when we do the actual painting that I do quite a lot of pressing down and lifting and mushing the paint about on the palette. And that is because I'm feeling how much paint is in those bristles. And then when I'm ready to paint, it's all in there and ready to go. So use your palette for mixing your colors, but it's also for working out your consistency of paint and getting it into those bristles 
in exactly the right quantity. If you end up with too much pigment in there, then use your spray bottle, wet it a bit more, work it around a bit more. Over time, you'll get the feel for how much water and pigment you want on your brush. It needs to hold a beautiful amount so that you can make quite a lot of painting marks without having to come back for more pigment. Those are the first three common mistakes that beginners make with watercolour. To find out the other two mistakes, you can watch the whole lesson on Skillshare using this link that is on the screen now. The lesson is part of a Skillshare class called Watercolour Techniques for Beginners – Paint a Cactus. The class is for anyone who wants to learn watercolour and takes you from total beginner to painting a fun cactus plant in 1 hour and 12 minutes. I hope you enjoy it. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.